So I just wanted to clarify, we're going to set our air compressor at 75 PSI and run that for three minutes on a zone. And then we're going to let our air compressor get back up and shut off since the air compressor I'm using is a 30 gallon. Then we are going to do the next zone and so on and so forth until we're through all nine zones. At the end, I'm going to run through all nine zones one more time following the steps that I just told you. 75 PSI, three minutes for each zone and allowing the air compressor to come back up to pressure in between zones. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Give me a thumbs up and a subscribe if you want to get more videos like this. Thanks. Hey guys, so it just dropped down in temperature, 60 degrees today, and it's supposed to get down to 30 this weekend at night. So I'm gonna go ahead and blow out my sprinkler system. I'm gonna show you how to do that. And where I'm at, I'm in Missouri. So first we're gonna adjust our pressure on our 30 gallon air compressor down to 70 or 80 PSI. They don't recommend you go above 80 PSI. I'm gonna do it at 70 just because my system is a very old system and I've replaced quite a bit of bad lines once I bought this house. So we're gonna crank it down to 70. <coughs> started raining on me so I got my got my brain hat on what we're gonna do is we're gonna run our air compressor line out to our, our sprinkler manifold we're gonna take out um, one of the connection fittings and I just ran down to Home Depot and bought a brass quarter inch nipple and an industrial um, air compressor coupling so we're gonna Put those together and thread it into the backflow prevention manifold. So this is what my system looks like. We got our, our valve here. Coming from the water main to turn on and off the water to the manifold with the backflow permission. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out this flare fitting. We're just gonna take out the top. We're gonna replace that with a quarter inch nibble by four and a quarter inch male um, air compressor adapter. So we're gonna thread that right in. I've got some Teflon tape on this end and on this end, I'm gonna reuse this fitting every year. So I went ahead and put a liquid Teflon on this thread. I don't wanna use liquid on this thread because I don't want the liquid to get inside of my manifold and clog up my sprinkler heads. So let's go ahead and take this thing apart. There's a little flathead screw. That's a ball valve. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna insert our screwdriver into the notch and open that ball valve to put air into the lines. So I have a Beehive Wi-Fi system made by Orbit. I have an automatic um, rain delay that links up to the national weather um, system. We're gonna put it into manual runtime for station one. And 
we're going to run that for two minutes and see how it does. And when you blow out your system, what you're going to want to watch for is that you start off with streams of water, then it's going to turn into an intermittent mist. And once that turns into kind of a fog, you're getting really close to having them all blown out. I take it to the extreme until I'm blowing just air because um, I'd rather be safe than sorry. We get some deep freezes here and that's how I do it. So we're down at the lowest part of the system to make sure that we've gotten the water out of the lower ends of the line. And we can see that all we're getting is air throughout my hole zone one. Now we're gonna let the compressor get back up and we're gonna do zone two. It's also a good idea to go ahead and unhook your garden hoses, take your spray nozzles off, stretch out your garden hose, and then wind it back up to get all the water out. That way your garden hoses don't freeze and bust, bust possibly bust plumbing in your house, not to mention your sprayer nozzles. Pro tip. And we can see that this one actually has a crack in the body. Beehive does make an app that you can use to control your system and do presets. I highly recommend using that to go through and do your blowouts along with the setting up your system. It's just much easier. Now that we're done bleeding out our system, we're going to turn off the air compressor and disconnect the airline. Then we're going to remove our brass nipple and airline fitting. After this is removed, don't close the ball valve that we opened in the beginning because if it if there is any remaining water once it freezes, it'll give it some room to expand or bleed out of the system the rest of the way.
you're done blowing out your system, what you're gonna wanna do is drain your air compressor tank. So shut it off, drain out the air, and get all the moisture out of the tank so it's not sitting in there rotting. Because it took me quite a while to blow out all my sprinklers and I ended up getting a lot of moisture in my tank. I do have a pre-filter on my air line so I got all that moisture out before it hit my sprinklers but there was still quite a bit in my tank due to the humidity 